Hi, it's Gail from Life and Splatters, and well, this this was a, a video challenge today. I thought I had the camera on for the open cup portion of the program, but it was off instead of on. So we're going to start from here. Uh, this is an open cup, and I've layered paints in it and moved the cup around to distribute the paint. Now I'm adding more paint to do a controlled swipe um, in little sections. And I'm trying to use up some paints. I've been using this palette for a while. And I actually, I listed the colors that I've been using in the previous video. I've done some really pretty swipes and I do a series of tilting and I'm doing it for several reasons. I'm trying to position the paint that's remaining on the canvas exactly where I want it. And the other thing is to open up the cells and you can see on the left side where the green, that beautiful candy apple green was swiped with the black, the cells are opening up really pretty. And of course I do some schmears. And this one is pretty much speaking to me that it's done. As I was working on this, I sit in a bay window in the lower level of the house and some heavy clouds came over and it got dark. So I apologize for the video looking darker in spots. Um, we lost the sunshine, which is okay. I could use a little more rain. This is a 12 by 24 inch black canvas that I flooded with black Artist Loft Flow acrylics, mixed equal parts paint to Floetrol, and then another half a part's worth of water to give it a little bit more uh, mobility on the canvas. All the other paints are mixed just with Floetrol and a little bit of water. There's no silicone in any of my paints. The cells are just due to the density of paints and the chemistry of paint. Here's the finished piece, and in case you're wondering how these dry, so far so good. I haven't had any cracking. Yes, I'm leaving a fair amount of paint on the canvas, and I'm using no pouring medium other than the Floetrol. So cross your fingers on this one too, but I've had luck. The last three are all drying absolutely beautifully. Four. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I inspired you to try something new. If you're interested in a private class, you can email me. The information is in the description box. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. It'd be sort of nice for you to know when there's something new coming out. Thanks again. Let's keep making beautiful things and playing with pigments.
Well, my lighting changed, so I went in again and I did a few more schmears. I was going to do something drastic to it, but the more I looked at it, I realized maybe not. Maybe just leave it be. It's actually quite pretty. I did just a little bit more in the schmearing. <laughs> 